Here, I'm going to show you how to import lists from Word into Excel so that we can take all of the numbers and then slice and dice them, do whatever we want, filter, sort, and have them in a nice, neat table like this, where we can do all sorts of things in Excel from a list that you made in Word. And if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure to check the links below this video for my full courses. They are very thorough and will teach you how to save hours of time in Microsoft Office, especially Excel. Now what we have here is kind of an ad hoc budget where I just input items as they occurred here in Word, but I want to take them into Excel. And the first thing that we actually want to do so that we can separate the numbers and the text out is to sort these items here in Word. And the way that we do that is go to the Home tab and then click A to Z. But it's going to sort a lot of things and maybe we don't want everything in our Word document sorted, so I'm going to Control C to copy this and put it into a new document. Now we can work with this without worrying about messing anything else up. So we don't even have to select the text, Home tab, A to Z, sort by paragraph, type, change it from text to number because we have numbers in there, then ascending, just fine, OK. And we are good to go, 45, 60, 75, 100, 175, and 1050. Now what we can do is just copy this, or let's just select the data that we want, Control C, go over here into Excel, paste that in, or if you don't want the formatting, what you can do, instead of hitting Control V just to paste it in, is go up here on the Home tab, click the drop down arrow, and match destination formatting right there. The next thing that we want to do is text to columns. So with everything selected, go to a data and then text to columns right here. And since we want to separate the numbers and the text, you may think, okay, well, I can use a space as a delimiter, except for that we have spaces after car. And then if you had a really long list, you might have more spaces as well. So instead of using a delimiter to break up this list, what we're going to do is to use fixed width. And when we hit next, what you do, you can see we've got a little column right here. We could move that around if we wanted to, but we can leave it right there. It's going to separate the bullet points on the left from everything else on the right. Now we add another one just by clicking here and we can kind of click and drag it to the right to choose where we want to split that. But notice that the last number 1050 is cut in the middle and that is not what we want. And that's why we sorted everything in Word first. So we can go ahead, close this window, and select the first chunk of numbers to work with, do everything, then select the last chunk of numbers, the bigger numbers, to work with to split them up. So I'm going to hit Cancel, go here, and just select all the numbers that we can split at once. Data, Text to Columns, Fixed Width, Next. Click right in there, there we go, and next. And uh, let's remove this little column with the bullet points. So make sure we click there, it's in black so it's been selected, and hit do not import column, skip. Then we can hit finish, and there we go for that one. Now let's go for the bottom one, click that guy, text to columns, fixed width. Next, it's selected it already, perfect, next and do not import the first column. Click the columns at the top to work with them like that. But we are good to go, so hit finish. And we are almost there. Now, sometimes what happens is the formatting of the numbers or the text can get a bit wonky after that. And what you may want to do then is to select this and go to the Home tab and this little eraser right over here and hit Clear Format. If you're still having trouble, try out the great clean function. It's going to remove all non-printable characters from text, and it can get rid of some issues that are a little bit hard to see sometimes. And if that happened to you, we could drag it down, get all the numbers, then Control c to copy it, and Alt-E-S-V, Enter, to change everything that was a formula into a value that is hard-coded. But notice, of course, here, we now have text instead of numbers, so we could go here, convert to number, and then we have a list of numbers. Now in this case, I did not need to do all of that, but sometimes you have to do it, so I wanted to make sure that I showed you. But the last step is now to take this and make it a little table, so we pull it down, 
and we give it a title, amount, and purpose. Then we hit Control T while we've selected something in this text. My table has headers, yes, okay. Then table design, total row. Well, let's go here, click that guy, make it a sum, delete that, add some formatting here, home tab, dollar sign, and there we go. And that's how you go from uh, this bullet point to list right here to uh, this workable list in Excel right there. And if you like this tutorial, make sure to check out all of our tutorials and full courses on teachexcel.com. I've got a link to it below this video. As well, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials.